Let's have a session, segmentation, targeting and positioning, STP. So segmentation, the first step of STP, is when potential, potential customers are divided into different segments. And those segments could be demographic, so age or gender, geographic, so the location or the country they're in, income, higher or lower, behavioural, so predictive patterns in the consumer or consumers, psychographic, so particular lifestyles they're interested in. So that is segmentation. More details on that, click the card up there. The next stage that a business might go through in their marketing procedure is targeting. So targeting is which segment should they tar target? Which of these segments should they target? Should they use a mass marketing approach where they disregard any particular segment and they target them all? Or do they go for a niche marketing approach where they look at one particular segment, whichever that may be, and target that specific segment? Or even an area within that specific segment. So even more niche or niche, as the Americans say. Number three is positioning. So positioning is to do with what is the business's competitive advantage? What do you believe as a business, as managers of the business? What's your competitive advantages? And how do customers perceive you? And that, knowing that will help you to deploy your extended marketing mix, your seven Ps. So for that, we're thinking about if you're a product, you'll be primarily focused on the first four Ps, so price, so are you using skimming, penetration, or the other pricing strategies? Place, what's your di distribution mechanisms going to be? Promotion, what type of advertising or sales promotions you may use? And for product, well, you could be thinking about Porter's generic strategies, thinking about are you going to have a differentiation or cost focus that will loop into the design mix for your particular product. Then if you're a service, you might want to think about the other parts of the extended marketing mix for the seven Ps, particularly the UK, a very service heavy uh, economy. So if we're thinking about process, what's the ease of transaction? If we're thinking about people, well, who are the people that are serving you? What's the experience that customers are going to see in that, whether it's physical or it's um, digital and physical as well? What's the experience within the purchase life cycle that the customers will see? So I hope that helps on STP and I'll see you at the next session.